Today, most kids would rather not learn to play this polka machine. They'd rather learn to play or or even the ukulele. I wanted to play a harp. See what I mean? They didn't have harp in my music school. Exactly. Can I play piano? Mm-hmm. You are a little bit too old to start. So they offered me another option. That was the best choice. Fortunately, dear viewer, Yelena never looked back. She continues to squeeze out this concord of sound. Here's how a simple accordion works. When the holes are opened by the keys, air is sucked in by the bellows and is channeled through the reeds. A bit like a harmonica, isn't it? It's not a new concept. Free vibrating reed instruments date back to about 3000 BC China. Beethoven understood good vibrations. He said the vibrations on the air are the breath of God speaking to man's soul. Yelena's accordion has been moving souls for over 25 years. Squeezing rhythm over the reeds at age nine, she practiced tirelessly. Seven hours every day. The Croatian summers were hot. And all that sweat was coming out. My accordion was sweaty. I was sweaty. I kept going. By the time she hit university, she pushed the bar even higher. I practiced 12 hours a day. They say you've got to put in 10,000 hours to be a master of your skills. No shortcut to greatness. And whenever I'm practicing more at this point, I feel I'm just getting better and better. She met her quota. And yes, the accordion was the right choice. And I discovered that the accordion demands a large audience right here in Victoria. It's what brought Yelena to the island. There is something going on here around the accordion. And they had passion for it. They were inviting new people to come and perform for them, like myself. Dan Soul was drawn in from Port Angeles, another accordion fanatic. Well, I started out in a, in a ukulele group. What? I said, well, let me give it a try. Now I have four accordions and four ukuleles. Dan introduced me to his vintage accordion. And I was in love. My heart yearned to learn. I ran to Tempo Trend, a Victoria music store that has been teaching for 50 years. This could change my life. Let's do it. Mary had a little lamb. Martin didn't want to play the accordion either. Definitely not. Yeah, it wasn't cool, but... When I could play a song that was on the radio, it was a cool song. Now that's cool. And now I love it and I play all the old stuff that I didn't like before. I really like it. Why? Because people enjoy listening to it. They get it. And now I get it. Out. The accordion. Catchy. In. Cool. Maybe even sensual. And third one? Yeah, it is. It's actually very, very intimate. I'm touching accordion with my whole body. The most intimate instrument ever made. Touching us all the time. Every movement has to be exactly the way it should. It has to be natural. It has to be coming from the heart. It has to be our body language, our own movement. Because you can't really fully understand the accordion if you don't feel it. You feel something open up. And the accordion's breath speaks to the soul. That dream when I was a little girl that wanted to play piano, 
I don't regret even a second of it that I had to choose accordion, not piano. Because after that, playing piano, I felt, this is not it. I don't really feel it so, so personally, so closely as accordion. This classic, misunderstood instrument. <laughs> <laughs>